Welcome to this edition of Media Minute Roundtable. For this edition, we're saying nope to tropes. We'll be back right after this. Welcome to Media Minute. I'm Michael Forward. I'm Chris Raskowski. I'm Rachel Edge. And uh, for this edition, we're looking at all those tropes that take place in movies, television, yes. and we're talking about what's in, what annoys us the most. And I'm going to kick things off by saying I hate empty coffee cups. Empty coffee cups. Oh, my God, yes. Yeah. Like, See, I don't drink coffee. The so, worst. But I, I, I understand your point. Yeah. Like, have you ever seen, like, it especially happens to, like, police procedurals where there's somebody <laughs> with, like, a coffee cup in the morning, like the detective with the coffee. And you can tell from their arm movements that there's nothing in the coffee cup. Yeah, like it doesn't. There, there's no there's weight no to weight. it. Like, it, and it just drives me crazy. I don't. I, I'm not the type of person that notices things either. Like, I'm not a detail oriented guy. <laughs> but man, those empty coffee cups. Like, as she drinks coffee. <laughs> as she drinks coffee. Yeah, is that empty? <laughs> God no, I'm not that stupid. <laughs> But uh, it would be funny if it was. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's a reason for continuity and whatnot. But like, whenever I see it, I just, yeah. I just can't help but, but focus on this empty coffee well, cup like, that this person's slinging around. You can only drink so much coffee, wonder. I suppose. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I mean, at the same time, though, it's like if you're trying to make something look realistic, like why not just make it an actual coffee cup, right? Because it's like seeing somebody pick up an empty one and be like, oh, and you could just tell. It's just, it's so jarring sometimes. Yeah. It just like takes that. That's all I can focus on. Like it's it's so strange, and like I usually right? don't notice like continuity errors or anything like that. But that empty coffee cup. Wow, wow. All right, I'll go next. I got because I, I I got a, I got a bunch. Sure. Go for uh, it. First one is uh, whenever a politician approaches a podium. Yeah. The microphone feeds back. Oh, like, for it sure. It feeds back for no reason at all. Yeah. Well, it's not even politicians. <gasps> Anybody who makes a speech. Like, check um, like check this out. Watch, yeah, watch, like watch. It. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> yeah. No, that's not a well, real just, thing. Maybe it's just... No, it's not. But maybe it's like to add like that sense of drama or, so, or something. Like, I, I've never understood that one either. Because it's like, why would you add the feedback when that doesn't happen in real life? You know? Yeah, it, it's. I guess it's to like give a sense like somebody's unprepared or like there's. Yeah, it's, it's like the cinematic version okay. of the yeah. principal flicking the lights on and off. Pretty much. It's like, oh, okay, okay. guys, uh, I'm here to make a speech about friendship. Yeah, and <laughs> <laughs> bullying is bad. Bullying is bad. Like, yeah, we know. Yeah, yeah. No, no yeah, way. A big one. The whole like, especially. It's usually like an outsider, like if there's like an outsider character, like making a speech or something like that. If they hit the mic, they'll, yeah. they'll have that feedback. So yeah, but it happens way too often. Yep. It doesn't make any sense. Buy a microphone and yeah. try it. Yep. You're not going to get... No. <laughs> Unless you're like you're feedback. like dropping your microphone weird. down by the speaker. Like it's... Yeah, it's like, hold on a second, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Some sort of Sasquatch mating call. <laughs> maybe maybe I'll, I'll work that into my treatment for the uh, <laughs> Harry and the Henderson Sasquatch eats yep. the movie oh my god <laughs> yeah. alright moving on yeah. So, yeah, Rachel weird feedback for no reason <laughs> is my uh, my gripe sorry I'm still stuck on this, uh, the mating call of a Sasquatch um, <laughs> I would have to say like one that like drives me absolutely insane is that like just that whole idea that like you need to get made over to be pretty, like in every oh, like, like 80s they, movie yeah, I think like I've ever seen, chair. it's like the girl next door is like kind of average looking, and then she goes through this crazy transformation, and then all of a sudden she's hot, even though she was hot before. Yeah, she, like, took, I she hate took off that. her glasses. Oh yeah. my god, she's pretty old. The, the thing about that is like she yeah, still like, needs what? to see, like you know, if they put yeah. in contacts or something, but they just take off her glasses, like. If I take off my glasses, I can't see anything. Yeah, <laughs> she's like, hot, but she's blind. Yeah, she just stumbles around, you know. 
Yeah, it's like I feel like that's such a bad thing to like portray, right? It's like first of all, I think I don't know. I think glasses are super sexy. I don't think like taking them away is gonna add anything or take away anything from anybody, right? And the idea that you have to like make yourself over to be valuable or attractive, like such a stupid thing, in my opinion. I don't know. I've always hated that one though. It's like Clark, Clark Kent. Yeah. Well, Superman. Yeah. Well, the whole Clark had Superman thing, there's like a whole theory oh, behind that. It's like uh, he actually makes himself move like super fast or something so no one can actually pick out his features or something. There, there's like five what? or six different explanations to like. What? Yeah. That, that, that's what they. So wait, he's constantly blurry when he's Clark Kent? No, well, when he's Superman. Always <laughs> <laughs> Superman. When he's Superman. Yeah. Uh, just Clark Kent running around the office just like. Pew, 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 pew. It's Clark, like, what the hell, Clark? Clark what are you doing? Like, how much energy are you yeah. <laughs> Why is Clark always blurry? Like, that's strange. And he's never here what Superman is. Like, yeah. what's up with that? <laughs> what's, up, what's up with the fuzzy right. dude? Yeah. <laughs> no one's concerned about this? Because I am. Yeah. Some guy just came to interview me from the Daily Planet, and he was fuzzy. <laughs> like, what's going on? Yeah, I've never seen that before. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I had to go get my eyes checked. <laughs> <laughs> he bought a lot of donuts in a really short amount of time. It was yeah. really strange. Speaking, it's weird. Speaking of which, really uh, I'm gonna go, which? go. Yeah, I'm gonna go <laughs> off on a tangent because uh, Su- Superman and Lois is back. They went on like oh, a, a five week nice. hiatus. It's still good. It's still like solid. It's like Superman stories. Is it a uh, uh, wicked Dean? Is Dean in there? Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, I guess he kind of got a uh, yeah. Hollywood kind of kicked him to the curb. I think so. There. But uh, no, it's filmed. I think it's filmed in Alberta or right? something like yeah. Nice. Cool. Uh, which they often do Can for like, like Superman <laughs> stuff. It's <laughs> like, hey, we need Kansas. We'll go to Canada because it's slightly cheaper to film. Um, but now, yeah, yeah some solid uh, Superman stuff. Uh, Superman as a dad. And, oh, uh, really? Yeah. Like, like he's got two, two kids. Is that canon? Did Superman like eventually have a kid? Well, I, I guess it's canon for that show. Huh. Yeah. I, I, cool. I always thought... I thought there was like a, a universe where he ended up like settling down with Lois and had, having oh, kids. Yeah. There's all sorts Didn't of they? multiverses and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I've never been much of a DC person, so I, I, yeah. I don't really keep up with. I That's always fair. found like uh, the DC superheroes are like too clean. Yeah, right. Yeah, like they're they're too super. Like the Marvel superheroes always seem to be like a little bit more down to earth. I don't know. Oh, side note. Sorry, uh, just remembered this. Paul Bettany, apparently, um, him and Marvel might be parting ways. Vision might be completely out of the uh, like Marvel universe now. Oh, really? Yep, they That's haven't it. signed any contracts. Like, he doesn't seem like... I wouldn't say he's not interested in coming back as Vision. It almost sounds like they can't reach an agreement of some sort. But I remember reading it, and I was like, Oh, no, because Vision's like one of my favorite characters in the Marvel universe. So hearing that, I was really sad. But... Uh, who knows? Maybe they'll be able to work something out. But I thought that was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure. Like uh, I hadn't heard about that. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. moving. It's only recent. Yeah, they've announced like a couple of movies for the next phase of, of Marvel, but I think it kind of peaked. Yeah. Yeah, with like Endgame, like it's. WandaVision yeah, was it's okay, be... but. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know how it's going to go moving forward. Like, they, they put out this uh, trailer for the Eternals, I think it is. Apparently that didn't go and, well. And, yeah, like, it, it's like apparently this group of superheroes just sat around and did nothing while Thanos, like, snapped half the universe <laughs> away. It's like, okay. The memes I've seen on that yeah. is hilarious. <laughs> just side note. It's been so good. Um, but onto that, too, though. There's a lot of people who are, like, for the Eternals one, they're not as hyped up. But there are other Disney series, like Disney Marvel series coming out that people are super stoked for. Like Loki, have you guys seen the trailer for that one? It looks so good. Yeah, that's dropping think, next week, I think. I wasn't, I oh, wasn't, I wasn't really? impressed. Yeah. Really? Uh, yeah. I don't, know. I don't know. I like Tom Hiddleston as oh, yeah, Loki. Good. Like, I feel like they could build quite a good series off of that, even if it's just a limited series. Like, it'd be interesting to know a little bit more about where he comes from and, like, where they're taking it kind of yeah. thing, you know? Because it's not, like actually canon loki it's like a side loki that uh, yeah. disappeared during yeah. the whole uh, infinity gauntlet thing i don't know maybe i'm yep. maybe i'm actually experiencing what they call the, the, the superhero exhaustion yeah the, there's been a lot maybe. for like the past oh, decade and yeah so done with it. just like the because the, there doesn't seem to be like any next thing yeah like it's just kind of yeah, like what leftovers yeah, yeah. it's just like yeah we, like what's going to be the big thing like disney's just what's rehashing the, their old uh, yeah. characters because Cruella yeah. came out uh, 
Yeah, no, no one has anybody that, seen but, that yet? Uh, our coworker has. Uh, he enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to watch. Yeah, it. I'm like I already pay for Disney Plus. I, I'm not going to pay an extra twenty five bucks to yeah, that's not watch. Oh, it when, on top. Yeah, of when that. I was looking at it, it was like thirty five. Whoa. Yeah. So, yeah, if it, I mean, if it drops for free on Disney Plus, I might give it a go, but so, uh, I'm not paying yeah. extra for it. Cruella. Yeah. Not going to see it. I, I think. Uh, I think it came out in theaters, and I think Quiet Place 2 uh, surpassed it in terms of uh, tax I heard sales. good things about yeah. Quiet Place I haven't 2. even seen the first one. Really? Yeah. It's spoiled for what? me, like, on what happens. Yeah, I mean. Oh, yeah. that sucks. Yeah. It's just a family but, running away from monsters, really. Yeah. That, and if the, you the, the guy from The Office is in it. Like, yeah. 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 Uh, in this one, they have, um, and, like, the second, oh, what's his name? I always say his name wrong. Killigan Murphy? He's in this one. And apparently, like, people were really concerned because they were like, this is going to be a weird casting choice. But apparently he nailed it. Like, people were really impressed with the acting in this one. Yeah, I like the concept. It's just one of those things that, like, I never got around to watching. That's fair. I won't lie. Like, seeing it in theaters, I remember people were telling me, like, you're not going to want to make a noise. Like, it's going to be one of those things. I was like, yeah, right. Like, whatever. But I remember I think it was, like, right at the beginning of the movie. It's like something happens, like, pretty dramatic happens. And then for the rest of the movie, I didn't even, like, eat my popcorn. I was scared to make any noise whatsoever because I was like, oh, my God, if I do anything, they're going to (laughs) die. That's, like, the first time I've ever had that happen for for me in a movie where it was, like, I was actually concerned about what I was doing because I thought it was going to affect the movie. Yeah, it was crazy. I it was really good though. Yeah, well, there isn't really that much coming out. I know that we're on a completely yeah. different tangent than ah, way, way off right topic. Now, but that's fine. <laughs> that's that's what this is well, about. We're here. Yeah, we're having fun. Run with it. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, in terms of summer releases, there's not much. Right? You know, I I think the studios were kind of cautious on what's going to be going on with the whole pandemic thing. I mean, things yeah. are opening up. Now, because yeah, theaters like, it, for the most part, I'm pretty sure are open. Yeah, uh, yeah I believe there, so. I think. I think for on my end, anyways. Sorry, it's. Uh, I think it's like June 11th that they start opening. Yeah, Burton's. But I mean, the the big kind of like what you would think would be summer blockbusters have been pushed back to the fall. Again, mm. I'm still waiting for Top Gun and Ghostbusters <laughs> and Dune. Did they push those back again? They're, they're November right now. I thought they were supposed to come out this summer. They were, and then they like, why did they? Why did they? Oh my god, this is yeah. getting ridiculous. So yeah, they're. I guess they're more aiming for like Christmas releases now with like, what would be like a tentpole movie, I guess. Well, like, what was it? Wasn't Black Widow supposed to come out in May? Like, has anybody heard any yeah, like was, updates it was supposed on to come that out one like too? Last year, yeah, I, I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, I've seen like well, advertisements I've seen, I've again. S- yeah. Yeah. I, like, I thought it was supposed to come out in May, and then it's like somebody's like, oh, they had to push it back again. But, like, I don't think people realize that, like, the studios anyways, it's like, yeah, you're worried about the box office, but the interest and the hype around it is completely going to be dissipated at this point. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm not interested in seeing half these movies anymore, because it was like, okay, yeah, we've been in a pandemic, we've been under quarantine and stuff, but, like, is the box office really that important versus like getting the hype around it? Mm, you know what I mean? Yeah, it is. The, yeah. I don't know. Well, uh, speaking of movie studios, like oh. Amazon, like straight up bought MGM. Yeah, Amazon. I know. Amazon bulked up. Yeah, it's like I don't oh, know okay, how we're I producing feel about stuff. That. Let Let's just buy a movie studio. Yeah, it's insane. I'm, I'm scared. Honestly, if like this kind of stuff keeps happening and studios keep getting bought up by like monopolies and like all these like giant corporations, like. I don't know. Like, I don't know if it's a good idea. Like, yeah, they get the money, but, like, at the same time, it's, like, I feel like they're going to have such a big hand in, like, the creation of movies and TV shows now that it's going to be, like, the same stuff over and over again. Yeah. Oh, you see, you like, they're just going to be copying other people, you know? I don't know. I'm, you, not, I'm not If you scare an entire population in, inside, they're going to need something to watch. Yeah. So, uh, I get it. It's I, I get the move, for sure. Because... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's it's a genius move on amazon's part but i i don't know if this could, as like a creator I'd like that i got a bad gut feeling about that the worst thing now for the streaming is that it's becoming like what cable was at one point everything's yep. separated out yeah, right. and you have to have two or three s- different subscriptions to things now and which i think i'm pretty sure we are all already do like, yeah I, I mean oh yeah, 100%. Uh, i got personally shutter. i have netflix disney yeah. plus and uh, amazon prime yeah i got i got shutter yeah I got netflix so yeah, I got Netflix. 
Amazon and Disney. Yeah, and there's there's like and it, we're falling for the trap, folks. Yeah, we, don't don't be. We are. We complain, but uh, at least we're aware of it. Yeah. Yeah. But, but well, I mean, like, there there the is a cutoff too, point. No. Oh, go ahead, Rachel. Sorry. No, no, no. Sorry. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, no. Mike. There <laughs> there is a cutoff point for me now. Like I'm at yeah. that point. It's like even if something comes up on another subscription service, I'm like, no. Yeah, no. I'm like I'm not doing yeah. the Disney thing. I'm not doing yeah. Oh, what's that new one? Uh, there's, 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 it, there's like Peacock and they, they uh, throw yeah. stuff there's up so on Hulu, many. which like Canadians don't have access to. So yeah, yeah. Uh, HBO Max. Looking at you. Yeah. So, but the, uh, I guess the moral of the story is there's too many subscription services. Yeah. All right, back to. Well, like, have you got? Oh, go oh, ahead. Oh, Rachel, oh, I'm I'm still... No, no, do go, go, right. Rachel. Before Wait, I say, sorry, we're yeah, going, no, like, we'll, I'm, we'll I'm start going. the show later. Um, it's yeah. fine. We got all day. All right, that sounds good. This is... uh, but no, I was just going to say, though, like, have you guys noticed, like, I know for me personally, like, I watch some TV shows, like, on uh, Amazon specifically, and um, I've noticed they've actually started putting, like, commercials in, and it's not the same amount that they oh, used to, but, like, almost at every break, there's a 30-second commercial, and I'm kind of like, wasn't that the whole point of getting a subscription, was to avoid, yeah. like, the commercials? I, I've noticed... Like, it's just, like... I've no, noticed that they, know. like, advertise other shows at the start. yeah. Uh, I haven't seen a straight up commercial yet, though. But I don't watch that much. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I see, noticed, like I, I, I don't, I don't have Amazon, so like, yeah. like Shutter doesn't do that. Uh, That's Netflix how I get my macaroni. Doesn't. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, there's like I think like the. Hold on, I'm just gonna break the, the traditional wall stuff. Here. There's a macaroni shortage going on. Yeah, I, I've been waiting Wait, on, on macaroni yeah. from from Amazon for like two months. There's also a sunny delight. <laughs> shortage going on and a cat food shortage yeah so uh all from amazon and canada anyway how as if we couldn't get more into the weeds room? yeah <laughs> listen the this is the episode okay. for like whatever oh the thumbnail for this one's gonna be fun yeah um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i don't know i don't know i feel like this like i almost feel like some of the uh the whole reason that like people are interested in like subscription based stuff is cuz like Netflix was like obviously the first big one and it's like you could watch your shows or you could watch your movies without like having to worry about renting it or like all that kind of stuff right and that when i found out that they were doing like limited series on certain uh base or like certain uh what's the word streaming sites i was super stoked so it was like cool this is like another place for people to go because it's like I feel like people are realizing that like, hey, if you have a good enough idea, like you can find somebody to pick it up, right? Yeah. But this whole idea of adding commercials and stuff like that, like at the beginning and then like at each like kind of end thing, it's like the whole reason I switched to subscription based like streaming was because I didn't want that. I was sick of seeing it. Yeah. And so it's like seeing it again, it's like, oh, are we really gonna fall back into that trap? Like Well, like so dumb. Yeah. Uh, even YouTube is like ridiculous now for commercials. If you don't have oh, some sort oh of oh my god, yeah, or whatever. Stop trying to sell me soap. <laughs> Listen, I don't want yeah. Like I, I, there's soap is soap. There's no manly soap. You're a man. It's yes. detergent. It's detergent. Soap is chemicals. Yes, everything is chemicals. Water is a chemical. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like I'm watching you. Oh yeah. my god, I see you. Yeah, like. It, and like the crazy thing too that like I've noticed like about YouTube stuff, we're just I'm just going on a tangent about these this, ads because I'm so the sick of the ads. Yeah. It's like some of them derailed. are like yeah. uh, some of them are so like awkward ago. too. Like have you noticed that? Like there's stuff that I've seen that I'm like, how does this affect? Yeah. Like you're why not a are you man targeting unless you watch this? with like this particular soap. Shave your balls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, what have you guys been advice? seeing? This is like i'm completely off like in the weeds now but there's a video going around on people's like um youtube homepage, and it's kind of like a dude like the dude's in the thumbnail and it looks like he's like in like a, a hospital gown and he's kind of like crouched and looks terrified and it's like something to do with um like this guy doesn't believe that like the psychologist is, psycho is a psychologist or stuff or uh, something. yeah i've seen that but it's crazy i haven't watched the actual video yeah. but something like a guy is pretending he's crazy in front of the cops yeah i haven't something actually watched like it but it's like in what? everybody's youtube feed I yeah like that. people are freaking out because it's like i like there's a lot of people who have like kids and stuff and it's like they're seeing it pop up on their like on their like for you kind of page for like uh, YouTube and they're like why is this popping up like my kid doesn't even watch this so like a lot of people are kind of like this is creepy like it's like a new kind of like I guess like one of those videos or like pictures you see and you're like how did this like show up it's yeah. like when YouTube downloaded their entire album album on everybody's iPhone they're all like what that made me, that made <laughs> yeah. me mad 
Yeah. Wait, I was pissed about I, that too. I was I like, why? An, can I drop like, why? an album on Bono's phone? <laughs> yeah. I'd love to. Yeah, like, did it happen to their phones? Yeah. Like, so dumb. But yeah, like I thought that was crazy though, because like I saw that people were like freaking out this about is, it. This, I haven't watched this it yet is either. Now the stuff but I don't that know if I want us. to. Yeah. Podcast. This, <laughs> yeah. This is this is this is the venting podcast. This is our twentieth episode. This was supposed to be celebratory, instead, yeah. but instead we're just complaining about stuff. Yeah. Get off my lawn. Hey, it's it's. This is literally the twentieth episode. We can talk about anything we want. Uh, I yeah, think. Yeah, we're going ham. Yeah. That's what that's what the kids say, right? <laughs> sure. It's the bee's knees. All right. But I'm gonna oh, get us God, back on, you guys are showing your age. I'm going to get us back on track. Sure. All right. Trope. Okay. Perf- uh, that bu- kind of bugs me. Perfectly timed weather. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Hate it. Oh. They just break up and it starts raining. I understand the point. I yeah. get it. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a convenient metaphor. It, it's, I get it, it. it's good when they do it for comedy. Like if you're watching like a comedic yeah. movie and... I feel like it should have been retired after Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. After that, yes. no more looking at the sky in the rain yeah. scenes. I agree. I agree. This is retired. Watch, yeah. retired. If you haven't seen Shawshank, like, by the way, watch it. Oh, if you haven't seen Shawshank, you Oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> Just about you to would. go off there, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to swear. It's hard. Yeah. It is hard sometimes. But, like, you, okay, hold on. I, uh, that's the thing, too. Is, like, if you that's haven't one seen of the most Shawshank, you are swear wording it up. Ever. <laughs> but yeah, uh, like the uh, did yeah. you guys did you guys ever notice how hard it rains too? Like it's always like a oh, torrential yeah, yeah. downpour. Yeah, it's never, never like a sprinkle. Never a like a little bit. Apparently, they have to do that though, so it shows up. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, really? Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, I thought it was rate. just because they were trying to be as like dramatic as possible. I didn't realize it was because the I cameras can probably pick it up. <laughs> some of that too. Yeah, I, I can. I hate it though when you can tell like they're actually dumping the rain, like it's just like a fire hose or something. Yeah, <laughs> like you look off at the distance and there's no rain. Yeah, it's just, yeah. It's like oh, it's just, just raining a fireman on this one like on like guy. one side. Yeah. He's like, oh, this is gonna be my moment to shine. You know, there's I'm, just a cloud that decided to like just dump on this one guy for no reason i'm crying so hard yeah that is coming from this guy it's tears in the rain it, man. it makes yeah, no, no it makes me think of those like anti like are those like antidepressant like medicine commercials where it's like the one guy has the cloud on him constantly it's oh, just yeah. raining yeah uh, it's like then they'll yeah. they'll do the color saturation after he takes the drugs <laughs> yeah and then it's life like oh my so god your life better, is magically i may have rectal bleeding medicine. but life is so much better <laughs> And then, uh, oh, actually, there's a there's a crazy movie I've watched recently. Sorry, I'm completely just I'm not throwing sure the tropes out the at this train point. Of thought went tro- <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what just happened. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I'm curious. Well, no, Go ahead. I'm, although, sorry, I said the, like the anti-depression thing, and I just watched a movie about how um, this one woman, they were following her around. She was like super depressed or whatever, and then the psychiatrist, who was played by Jude Law, he um, prescribes her uh, medicine, and then she ends up killing her husband, and then he's put on trial because it's like kind of like this whole, well, you should have known better. There was side effects and blah, 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 blah. It's like actually a really good movie. I can't remember the name of it right now because that's I how I remember I rolled, Jude Law is like that Sky Captain movie. Yeah, that movie's yeah. terrible. I, I don't remember but, hating it. It was stylish, at least. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah it looked great. Like, like the yeah, like nineteen thirty serial type thing. It was no. Uh, what was that rocket one? Nineteen thirties dude had to like a jetpack. Oh, Rocketeer. Yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Rocketeer was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. So, man, uh, we're I'm just we're just one. going. All I'm gonna over have the place. to make a graphic for this one. <laughs> oh man, Chris is gonna be like editing this thing for like two weeks. <laughs> He's gonna be swearing the whole time through. <laughs> Uh, I swear normally anyhow, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, that's uh, a, that's So, cool. like. So, yeah, perfect, perfectly timed that, weather is my uh, yeah. trope that yeah. is just, an, just eye-rolling. I, I'm going to bounce off that with perfectly oh. timed news. Oh, yeah. This yes. just in. Yeah. They turn on the TV, and it's the exact start of a news report. And it's like, suddenly there's bodies rising from the grave. It's like, okay. It's all of a sudden, yeah, it's like it yeah. explains everything perfectly in that moment. It's like, oh, my God, what's happening? News turns on by itself. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> always at happening. the start of the newscast. Like, that never happens. Yeah. Like, yeah. come on. Yeah. Come on. Exposition. Um, sometimes you need exposition. You, yeah, sometimes you need exposition. I guess, yeah. yeah. That's fair. Like, if it's done well and if it's done right, then okay. But when it's done really poorly, like, it's just like... And they got the, the random, like, Morris code. 
yeah, like beeps before like the newscast starts for no reason. <laughs> this just in. Yep. Yeah. Why the hell is there Morse code? And it's like, where did this, where did this come from? Yeah. Uh, um, all right, should we keep going? Yeah. Uh, Rachel, do you have yeah. one? Uh, Chris is like, yeah, he's got I a just book thought full of notes. I just, so. I'm, yeah. run, I'm running out of paper. So me on these. Oh. Come on, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I re- really need you to show up. I. Come on. The man needs a new but, notebook. Uh, I don't want to kill more trees. Yep. So don't force my hand. But um, me on these. Yeah, you, the you tro- can write your note <laughs> on the Sorry. underwear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, sorry, sorry. Go ahead, Rachel. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> All right. All good. Um, I would say like another trope. I actually, because I, I ended up caving and watching the, um, what was it? Uh, Army of the Dead. Okay. Uh, you like, did you st- I Because I, I. Did you see the robots? Yeah. It was. F- it, like it was, it was a- weird. Sorry. I'll bleep it out. It's fine. <laughs> I'll, 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 just, leave, yeah, I'll leave the swearing in for was the a wild one. version. But- yeah. Yeah, okay. But um but no, the trope that I thought like that it, it like kind of hit me in the face watching this movie more so than any other movie I've watched, but it was like the estranged parent trying to like connect with their with their estranged family or like their like, like their son or daughter or kid or whatever. Yeah, right. Yeah, and then yeah. like and then it's like it throughout the movie it's just like so like obvious that like it's not going to work and then like they magically resolve it at the end because of some tragic thing and it's like Really? That that's that's not how. Never. That's never gonna work out in real life. Like ever, 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 yeah. ever. <laughs> I've heard summaries of, of like right? that movie. Also, right. I've heard like they just like they scrapped some character and they just inserted Tignataro uh, in a helicopter. Crystalia. Yeah, was in the movie. But apparently, uh, yeah, apparently, like Tignataro uh, never oh, he met got... Dave Batista because like they just filmed all her scenes separately. I didn't yeah, know that. Probably. That's crazy. Yeah, I know Chris Leah was supposed to be in it, but because uh, of the uh, allegations, yeah, yeah. yeah. we'll kind of yeah. skip over this one, maybe. Yeah, I, I will say, I will say though, like if anything was good in that movie, I really enjoyed the kills. Like, who? Some of them were like actually on point. So I will, I will give it that. Like the the zombie kills and like people dying and stuff. Like there were some pretty good ones. So wait, what's the trope? Uh, oh, the trope was like the whole like estranged family member and like uh, like kid, like the parent and the kid. Yeah. And how it's like throughout the movie, it's like you, you can tell it's not going to work. And then at the end of the movie, because of something tragic or some overarching realization that, oh, my God, we're family. We need to be OK it, with each other. It's, and that it's like it just works trope. out and they forgive uh, each other and they and all of a sudden they live happily ever after. It's like that's yeah. such bullshit. All right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip on to one of mine real quick because that kind of ties into something I got. This might be a little cold-hearted, but it, does, it definitely does tie, tie into uh, okay. what you're saying. But just that, that dumbass kid who just freezes at the perfectly wrong moment oh, yeah. and almost gets everybody yes! killed. Yeah. Oh, or does. They get, like, one of the characters that everybody, like, the beloved character ends up dying because of this dumbass. Yeah, this stupid kid just freezes and drops to his knees. Oh. Yeah. Scared, like yeah, we're all scared. We get it. This is a really negative Man episode. Up. It is. We, it's been, it's been a couple rough months. <laughs> yeah, it has been. We need to let it out. It's okay. Right. That, but, but no, but, I totally agree with you. But yeah, even uh, what was it? A train to Basan. Like that kid. Man, I would have kicked that kid off the train. Yeah, ASAP. So bad. Here, here's one for me. <laughs> uh, forced romances. Like yes, uh, if if I'm watching like a movie about like a bunch of zombie survivors, I I don't care. Like, like okay, have one character kiss the other. Okay, I know that they're involved. Yeah, like, that, that's all it. I need. I I don't need to see like anything else. I got their relationship develop. Yeah, just focus on it's like the, nobody. The zombies. It's like we're running from things. Yeah, we gotta go. And like, did did anybody ever like sign up for that like for that couple? Like, did like was like. Was anybody ever invested in the couple? Like in like a in like the horror movie genre or like anything like that? Like I don't think Probably anybody's not. really like Probably not. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're yeah. not like, oh my god, Susanna and John, I need to know how it ends. It's like, okay, cool, they're either gonna end up dying, one of them's gonna end up dying, and oh, the other yeah, person's gonna go insane, or they're both gonna die. Yeah. Like there like there's not it yeah. So dumb. Right. Oh I Oh, oh you got I, one? I got another one. Oh, um I what when, is it? when they hurt the when they hurt the dog. Ooh, that that <gasps> that makes me mad. That, yeah. I like. I think you can understand, like, 
like how people get more upset about the animal getting hurt. Like yeah. I am Legend, for example, broke me. <laughs> that destroyed my I, like. I, I was so upset. I don't care what else happens. Unless the dog's okay. <laughs> no, literally. Yeah. Like yeah, when no, you involve a dog 100%. in the movie, like I automatically go to like that dog's gonna die, and I'm gonna be crying by the end of it. Yeah, because well, yeah. it's like that's that's the first thing you jump to, right? Anytime I see a dog in a it's horror awesome. movie, I start getting nervous. Yep. It's like, oh, yeah, it's man, like no. Are they gonna do it? Not Fido. Don't yeah. do it. Sometimes yep. they do. Right? Sometimes they don't. Bad yep. Moon, by the way. Watch that movie. It's a yeah, side movie. note. That was a that was a cool play on that. But from no, I agree. Like when you the, the minute you see an animal, like because I've seen it done uh, with um, what was it? There was a cat, for example, a uh, pet cemetery. Yeah. It's yep. like the cat ends up getting messed up or whatever. It's like you still get emotional about it, right? Because it's like I think everybody has that connection to the animal. It's like but like for yeah. like me, it's like I care more about the dog or the cat or whatever animal it is more so than the humans. Like don't, leave the leave them alone. You can mess with the humans. Don't don't hurt the animal. It's kind of messed up cuz I feel the same way. Yeah. I, I think I, a lot of people do. I, I think we, we care more that, about the dogs yeah. than people. Like the the pets have route. like a certain I, innocence, I, didn't take a look I think. In, look in the mirror. That Humans Say again, Mike? I think the pets have like a certain innocence. Like they're yes. not, you know, they're just kind of following their humans around. So it's like, it's not their fault. And they always come to the rescue. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah, like it they, usually it's, doesn't end well. It's just, you know. Yeah. So, so See, I would be down for a, a horror movie or like a movie where like there's a bunch of action and stuff. And the only thing that survives is the dog. Yeah. I'd be okay with that. Bad moon. True. Yeah, I think the dog survived in that one. I can't remember. <laughs> All right. But actually, I'm going to throw in another trope. Okay. And one that, that I actually like. Okay. Yeah. We're yeah. Getting, Ooh, let, okay. Let's That's steer away from the, the, the negativity. last 33 minutes of negativity. Yeah, there's just a, like a black cloud <laughs> floating over everybody's head for this one. But uh, one I have, I have oh. a few tropes that are good too, so. Okay. okay, perfect. Okay, so it's not all doom and gloom. But no. uh, one that I love is... Uh, when a cartoon character walks off a cliff oh, and yeah. they don't fall until they, they realize. Notice. Yeah. <laughs> Wildly until they look down. <laughs> yeah. It's great. I love that one. I, it That's still such a makes good me one. laugh. Yeah. That's it. That's all I got. Yeah, just I, just, a, I just love that. Yeah, that's a good one. I wish I wish that um, worked in real life. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. You just don't look down. Just yeah. Just keep, just keep walking. Right? Yeah. Uh, Rachel? Right? Um, oh, let me think here. Uh, I would say like the horror movie... Like, genre is just, like, a giant trope. <laughs> like, yeah. every movie follows a certain formula <laughs> well, kind I, of thing. I like it when that's subverted, though, like Cabin in the Woods. They just, yeah. like, took oh, every that was trope genius. and then... Genius. Uh, behind the Mask? Yep. Yep. Le- Leslie Vernon? Like, I think... If you haven't seen that, check that yeah, out. Yeah, like, I... That's what I was going to actually say, is, like, the idea of, like, flipping the trope so it's a little bit different, right? And kind of playing off of that... Like, I thought that, like, I love seeing that kind of stuff where it's, like, you're almost, like, bending the rules of the genre, but it, like, works in your favor. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, for, like, horror, because, like, horror movies have, like, such a, like, cut and paste formula. Like, seeing people mess around with that, it's yeah, it's, a, for, it's a lot of fun, I think. Well, I mean, the yeah. original Scary Movie, I think, did a, remember that? The, I don't the, even what, know if I ever saw the original Scary I Movie. I remember yeah, those. Yeah, it's the Wayans. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Damon yeah. Wayans yeah. and... Uh, that was a good uh, one. Yeah. There's so many. Well, like, like they yeah, kind of fell off a cliff after because like the X movie, th- think it like epic movie and stuff like that came up afterwards. Yeah. But yeah. Like, like the original scary movie, I think did a pretty good job of like identifying those tropes. Yeah, so I, I love that. Apparently. I thought that was yeah. so cool. <laughs> Which is fine. Yeah. Oh, I, I, oh, I, I got one. You got one. Yeah. Anything that's filmed in winter where someone's not wearing a toque. <laughs> like if you're in if you're in Russia okay. in the middle of winter, it's minus forty. You got a hat on. You got a hat on at least. Oh yeah, yeah. A- and gloves. Like you were. You, yeah. 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 Like you were covered. Yeah. Like, like put put a hat on the actor. Yeah. Come on. Like you, even if you're filming, like I feel bad for the actor if because like R- Russia has hats. Yes. I've or, seen them. Or like anything filmed in like Alaska or like northern Canada, they're like yeah, this character has doesn't have a hat on for their, it's cold. Or uh, sorry, I'm just it thinking, is. I'm just thinking out loud now, but you, you just got me thinking. Or uh, in a zombie movie where everyone's in t-shirts. Yep. Get leather. You're jacket. gonna get bit. <laughs> yep. Get leather jackets or something thick. Yeah. Go, go like, to a motorcycle shop yeah. and get some leather. Yeah. Oh no, I'm gonna wear a tank top and look cool. Yeah. yeah. It's like no. Yeah. 
like what was it like watching like the army of the dead it's like seeing all of the zombie tropes in yeah, it yeah. and just being like not a sleeve ah! <laughs> not a sleeve in sight yeah. yeah well no they had to show off Bautista's muscles right yeah that like, movie yep that was a yeah speaking of which Bautista but, I think is moving away from like Marvel as well right yeah I think yep. he's done with the uh, oh, what's the name of his character uh can't remember. Big blue guy, anyway. From Guardians oh, it starts with a D. Crap. Yeah. Uh, Something that destroyer. Drax. Drax. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think he said like, yeah, he, like to see someone else play Drax. Hmm. I don't know if anybody can play him as well. Yeah. I really don't. Mm. There's got to be someone. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Who would, okay. Who would you guys put as Drax if it wasn't Bautista? Like, who would be your go-to? See, the thing is, there's no up-and-coming actors yeah. anymore. Like, I'm... I, I, almost, I, would, I almost I would say, say there mimosa. is. They're just not ripped. Yeah. <laughs> mimosa? Like they all, they they all right fit like a suit. Mimosa's <laughs> great. <laughs> yeah. That's, what? Yeah, that mm-hmm. was, Jason Momoa. Yeah, not mimosa. Mimosas <laughs> are the drinks. <laughs> it's, it's nice. I love now, some people Sunday would morning. say he's a drink, but. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yep. Maybe, he's a tall, maybe him. Tall glass of water. Yeah. <laughs> but but, I, but he's kind of already tied to Aquaman, so I I don't know. I don't know. But Aquaman's yeah, let's, DC though. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but the thing is though, it's mm. like I feel like a lot of people Cavill? get really really yeah. upset when yeah. like people I mean, play Cavill more than like one stacked. character in the universe. Yeah. Man, I'm I'm trying to think of Henry Ca- like a suitable Henry Cavill superhero now, like aside from Superman. Ooh. Um, because they're not going to use him for Superman anymore. Right? What? Yeah, no, they're they're done with Cavill Superman. Was it the mustache? <laughs> <laughs> the CGI I mustache. Love... I still have to watch that. The, I haven't attempted to watch the Snyder Cut yet. By the way, I. I well, it's it's like four hours, isn't it? Yeah. It's like something stupid long. Nobody got time for that. Yeah. <gasps> Yeah. We're probably going to hit four like, hours I'm, today. <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny. I was talking to my sister about this because she's a really big comic book fan as well. And it's funny looking at DC's side where it's like you look at where they flopped and where they like had good movies. And almost every one of their good, like well done movies was not done by Snyder. Yeah. I, like I, the rest, like the ones that flopped hard were Snyder. I, I do have to say the animated mm. DC movies that they've put in, been putting out, like the straight to video stuff. They, they've been solid. Yeah, they've been crushing that. Because, like, they just, yeah, they just take the comic book storyline and they animate it. Yeah. yeah. That's what, they don't mess around with it or anything. They yeah. just take that, just animate oh, it. Yeah. yeah. Which is, yeah. I've, I've been screaming that for years. Like, yeah. You get, the comic book is basically a storyboard in your lap. Yeah. All you have to do is. is do that. It's like, uh, what was it Kennedy said about Star Wars? It's like, yeah, we don't have any material like comic books or anything for yeah, Star Wars, what? but there's like, 1500 novels <laughs> like, in Star Wars that they could have pulled from. Yeah, like like the lore in Star Wars alone is just insane. Yeah, cuz they have like So like I think it's funny that they say that. They had like 20 years of no- novels and then they just like cut them from yep. canon because like they had their own vision for it or whatever. Like like there's no so reason dumb. there should have been a bad Daredevil movie. No. No, D- Daredevil no is like reason. everybody praises like uh the different runs of Daredevil. Oh, there's been so many. Yeah. You're, oh, I, sh- I should have brought them. Yeah. So, but see, we're, we're just talking about anything this time. Yeah. You, you have yeah. to, like, bring a box of stuff. Yeah, I just, just pack up half my apartment just in case. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. But, yeah, like, I don't know. I feel like DC, they don't have the formula for the live action yet. Like, I feel like there's something missing there. Like, yeah. you're totally right. The animated stuff is incredible. But live action, for some reason, it's just not hitting as hard. Yeah. they. I did see a teaser for a second Shazam. Uh, Interesting. Yeah. Because the first one apparently did all right. Um, probably. And Watched it. Probably it. I was. Yeah. And they're doing that rock yeah. Black Adam. Yeah. Yeah. Thing. Okay. I'm, I'm interested for that one yeah. because, like, I don't know. Like, I followed the rock on, like, Facebook and, like, Instagram. And his, like, workout routine, like, it was insane before. But it's even more insane now. Like, seeing him that jacked is, like, low-key terrifying. Yeah. So, uh, he's a boulder. He, <laughs> he's, he's the rock. <laughs> yeah. He's got to be. He, he's, that, that's his no, job. but, like, he went he, he went from a rock, okay, to, to, to like, a, a full-out, like, mountain. So like, the man is huge. He's no longer a pebble. He's, yeah. 
a mountain. Yeah. Actually, Joker 2. Let's bring that up. Yeah, the fact that they're doing it. Because I, I thought Joaquin Phoenix said, yeah, this is just it. We're just one and done. Like That that was his wife more so. Like it made a ton of money. Oh, yeah. Yeah, people, Obviously. people liked it. Yeah. But a sequel? Well, because I it, know. I, I, it yeah. was such a like different take on the Joker, I felt. And it would be, like I feel like people were able to connect with him more. Because, I mean, there's like hints of like the Wayne family in Joker. So, yeah, yeah, because, like, uh, he thinks his father is actually uh, Bruce Wayne's father. Like, Yep. I totally thought you said the Wayans. No, not the Wayans. The the Wayans. Because we were talking about Scary Movie. Yeah. So I I guess I was on that page still. Well, that That would have been awesome, though. Side note. The the Wayans. Yeah. And Joker 2. No, that that, that was the the terrible Dungeons and Dragons movie that came out in the 90s. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. They're actually making another one. So Yeah. I met Gary Gaga. Cool. Yes, yeah, you said. You said. <laughs> uh, some drama going on in the D and D world, by the way, because huh? they're changing. Because there was this uh, evil race in the Forgotten Realms called the Drow, like they're evil dark elves, and yeah. and now they're coming out saying, "Well, nobody's really truly evil." <laughs> so, oh man, has politics gotten into? <laughs> don't do D&D? that. Yeah, it's it, it's kind of strange. Stop. Like, yeah. it's a fantasy world. Of course, you're gonna have evil. Yeah, you need it. That's or the else, whole point. What are you doing? Yeah, are like goblin, Lord of the Rings, really Star Wars, all like all evil? The, those types of questions. Oh, yeah. Good. No, no. Oh. All right, I'm ending this podcast right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really. Um, uh, where were we, by the way? Yeah. Um, we were we were talking about if anyone else remembers. Tropes, tropes, yeah. I think I'm. Yeah. I think I'm out. Actually, yeah. Anyone? Else I have one more. Oh, you got one? Okay, perfect, cool. Yeah, it's it's a it's a negative one though, so I'm sorry uh, to bring it back to the gloom. That's and okay. Doom. Yeah, let's, just, um, let's get right back into it. Yeah, but uh, the whole idea that when it comes to like somebody killing somebody else, they have to be mentally ill. Hmm. Like I feel like there's I feel like there's a lot of that out there where it's like they're crazy crazy. In that sense, like they've been like, for example, Michael Myers, it's like he was basically a sociopath or no psychopath. Sorry. And it's like the only reason he was killing people was because he enjoyed it and like all that kind of stuff. Right. And like, I feel like in well, a, he was in a way, it's family. like we kind of pitted ourselves in a corner for like people who do suffer from these conditions. And it's like they are trying to like find the right like treatment and stuff. And then it's like seeing like the way that they're portrayed in that sense. It's like I feel like a lot of people are. I don't know. I, f- I don't know if it's a good thing. I think we kind of painted ourselves in a corner with that So one. you want to see more average citizens murdering people? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I <Yeah>. guess. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's, I just feel like it's overdone. Like, I feel like... Where, like, you just... Uh, I don't know. Like, I feel like you don't have to be insane to kill Sheen? somebody. Sometimes you do it out of passion. Like Sometimes guy you do it, you know what I mean? Down. You know... Sorry, What? <laughs> I, I try to think. I, I just swore into my breath. Yeah, I tried no. to avoid it, but uh, it, it but didn't work. That brings me to another one, like uh, where like a hero is like fighting like a villainous organization, and he kills like fifteen guys on the way to the boss, and then he gets to the boss, and he's like, "I'm not going to kill you because it's the wrong thing to do." <laughs> and meanwhile, he just murdered yeah. fifteen people. Yes, dude, you're covered in blood. It's like yeah. and hair. Yeah, I'm going to take you to flesh. justice. It's like okay, yeah, like. That's something too. That like I, I just drives me nuts because it's like, okay, so those fifteen people you you like destroyed with yeah. like whatever super through, through power a guy you off have, the like, like they didn't matter. But like the bad guy, the boss is the guy that you're like, well, I shouldn't kill him because like I have morals. It's like, I'm, do yeah, you? I'm going to teach you. Or you just like, yeah. It's like what about those yeah, thirty like, dudes that you got left in the parking lot? Right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I guess like like going back to like the whole like like original trope i brought up with like the person has to be mentally ill to kill somebody i just i don't know i feel like is that true i don't know i feel like there could be better i've seen it a lot like Wait, for example split like the serial killer is yeah. the yeah. genre but i don't know if that's is that true yeah because you have like i like, would think so like, you have, I, I think you would have to like to be a murderer you'd have to be off a, a little bit at least i mean there are crimes of passion and stuff but yeah. when you're getting into serial killer territory it's well, for example, if you look at Ted Bundy, he wasn't insane. There was nothing wrong with him mentally. Mm. Like, he was actually... No, he was. They did tests on him. He was fit for trial. He was not insane. And he was very open about what he did. I don't know. I, like, think killed, I feel like there's examples. Many people, yeah. I think you're pretty much just voluntarily... Just, yeah, I'm nuts. 
No, I I think that's like a common misconception though. It's like some people just they aren't crazy. They just do it. So I don't know. I, th- I, I feel that like that's something that would be interesting to see. Murdering a yeah, bunch of people. Yeah, if you're okay with killing a bunch of people, I think there's I think that's crazy town. Yeah. You're off somehow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that you suffer from like schizophrenia oh, or depression no. or something no. like that, right? Well, you don't have to, yeah. I feel like that's like yeah. a that's a you common like fallback for people is like, "Oh, he's obviously like he's schizophrenic or he's this or he's that." It's like sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're just messed not, up people. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. You don't have to have schizophrenia. Just just because you have schizophrenia doesn't mean you're going to kill no. people. No. Yeah. No, I know, but I feel like that's something that like a lot of people like use, like when it comes to like like yeah. uh, crime shows or they, they definitely uh, lean like, on it a that lot kind of stuff, you know. In terms of, I I, yeah. need, I need a villain, so uh, crazy yeah, dude. yeah. And I I just think I don't know. I feel like they just use it, and it's like I think it's to the point where it's like we've we're trying to open like the door about talking about mental health, and it's like a lot of people talk about anxiety and depression and stuff like that, but when they talk about like more. I don't want to say more serious disorders because, like, obviously depression and anxiety are serious disorders, but, like, I guess more taboo disorders. Hmm. It's it's kind of interesting to see how they kind of use that as, like, old, like, they paint it in a bad light is essentially what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Chris. The monitor battery just yeah. died off camera. Uh, I swore on camera. No. Are, are we through to the tropes? Yeah, let's, yeah, I'm I, I'm down for uh, yeah, moving on. Yeah, uh, Rachel, you said that you seen something recently that uh, might like to talk about. Yeah, so okay, this is this is kind of funny because like I don't usually watch a lot of TV, but like since moving back home, it's like I've watched uh, a lot of Food Network, and <laughs> there's this one show. It's literally called Cook, uh, Cook or Con or Cook vs Con. And basically what it is, they get uh, four people to come in. Two of them are professional chefs, and then two of them are just, like, home cooks. Like, they don't actually have, like, an education or anything in it. And so what they do is, like, they get them to build, like, certain um, dishes. And then from that, it's, like, they get, like, professional chefs that, like, really world-renowned chefs to come in and taste them. And then kind of figure out who's the con or who's the chef out of the group. And it's, like, two rounds. So it's, like, one person gets eliminated in the first round. And then the second round, they pick their person... But after they pick their person, they find out who's actually professional chef versus who's, like, the people who just do it for fun kind of thing. Okay. And it's crazy because some of the stuff that, like, the the cons or, like, the, like, home cooks or whatever do, like, it's nuts. Like, I've, I've yet to guess one that's, like, right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, Chris, it's uh, interesting. Did, did you have – you were looking at your notebook. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, we we're doing the the terrible crossover idea. Oh yes, yeah. Oh yeah, I got one. Yeah. Oh, I got three. I totally got go, go Actually, for it. I got five, but maybe I'll hey, bring you, up three. You go ahead. You go first. Uh, first one. Yep. Perfect way to ruin a good movie is a school of rock. Yep. Jack Black gets fired and is replaced by uh, J.K. Simmons <laughs> from Whiplash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, from Whiplash, yeah. yeah. I was going to say, J.K. Simmons, that too. Oh, from Whiplash, okay, yeah. yeah. Or uh, J.K. Like that J.K. Simmons. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just, okay. Just, put, I... just replace him with Jack Black in School of Rock. Yeah. It would just be tears and screaming. Yep. Yep. No one's having a good time. I would, They'd probably I got make one. a good band, um, but... Say again? They'd probably make... He'd probably form a pretty decent band, but yeah. the... Emotional trauma oh. involved would just be horrific. Still got to watch those kids would Invincible, be broke. by the way, because J.K. Simmons does a great job. Oh, is he? Just... Yeah, because he's like the father guy. Oh, is he? Yeah. yeah. That's the animated one on Amazon, right? Yeah. It uh, went <laughs> over really well. Uh, nice. I think there's eight episodes. So, yeah, that's a uh, first this... uh, disaster movie. Yeah. They're signed on for a couple new seasons too, aren't they? I, I think so. From what I've heard? Yeah. Seth Rogen's in that as well. <laughs> he, he plays an alien. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, till you got a crossover? Yeah, so, like, I, Chris kind of inspired this one because I thought of, like, replace, like, I didn't realize we could replace actors to, like, make it, like, terrible kind of thing. Yeah. So <laughs> I was kind of thinking William Shatner, like, in his most shatner like, <laughs> era. Yep. And, like, putting him in, like, any horror movie ever. 
<laughs> and just letting him go. <laughs> like if he played Evil Dead actually here's one. If he played Michael Myers. Yeah. In Halloween. Well, well the funny uh, thing yeah. about that is eyes. because it's a Shatner mask <laughs> that they paint it white. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. So maybe he's like, I think that yeah, maybe <laughs> he just like he paints his face white and then chases people. Yeah, like what like I would love I would love to see that because I feel like I wouldn't be able to take the movie seriously because he'd be too busy busying shattering like have you guys ever heard of that game shatner <laughs> no. is there a game okay yes there is it's actually pretty funny so what you do is like you're with friends or something and then somebody's doing an action so say like i'm drinking my coffee and somebody saw me and they yelled shatner what i'd have to do was overact everything that i'm doing until somebody else does something and then i can yell shatner I will never financially it's recover awesome. from this. <laughs> <laughs> it's honestly like one of my favorite things. We've tried it a few times, like yeah. just at home. So like my mom was like cooking eggs or something and I just yelled Shatner and she started like overdoing the eggs and just <laughs> acting stupid, right? It's so good. These eggs are so soft. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see <laughs> But a, yeah, just I'd like to see Shatner and uh, Christopher Walken have a grammar off. Oh man. Yes. See Here we go. Just write, write a TV show based off those two. Yeah. Oh man. Now a lot of spitball <laughs> on this episode. Yep. Yeah, no, we'll call this the spitball yeah. episode. Happy twentieth, everybody. Yeah. Woo <laughs> uh, who's next? Um, uh, Mike. Mike. Mike's just like, okay, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm still, thinking. I'm still yeah. thinking. I'm still thinking. But go ahead. Oh, okay. If, if you're, I can kill some time. Yep. Um. <laughs> this, one this one doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> but uh, you take the soundtrack from the Nightmare Before Christmas. Yep. And replace the audio for The Exorcist. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, actually, no, no. Let's do that. That would make great. Let's yeah. do it the other way around. You take the audio from The Exorcist yeah. and put it on Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, that's that one of those ones that I think would work. Watch. Yeah, I think that'd be like fantastic. either way. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Yeah, that, that's the. That's, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Take the audio from. Okay. Actually, both would work probably. Yep. I might have to try because they're both like All dark, right? right? Yeah. So. Yeah. Because. Okay, I got. I was, was it Elfman did the Nightmare Before Christmas? Danny Elfman, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, he did. Actually, replace it with the Batman soundtrack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, over over the uh, over the Exorcist. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, any Danny. Okay, Elfman which which move. which Batman though? The, 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 well, the, the Christopher Bur Nolan Batman yeah, no, or Burton like? Elfman. Yeah, I'm going. Yeah, Burton. Burton for, for sure. sure. Batman. I said oh, Elf, okay, okay. Elfman. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Actually, there <laughs> there's very bad crossover. Elf, Elfman, and Batman. Chris Farrell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Elfman. I'm Elfman. <laughs> I'm gonna wish you a merry Christmas. And happy new year. Oh my god, guys. I mean, the, the I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I don't That's know how genius. we I don't know how we got here, but I'm happy we are. Yeah. I don't know. I I enjoy <laughs> it. Okay. What if you did <laughs> okay. Okay. Rachel, Rachel just lost it. I'm done. I'm if sorry. You, Elfman got me. If you like, I'm admit, picturing it's okay. it and it's just so good. <laughs> But like, what if you did, <laughs> like, instead of David Bowie in the labyrinth, like, you got Mick Jagger or like another big pop icon or like rock icon at the time? Like, I wonder if it would be any different. I'd yeah. go Freddie Mercury. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah. Yeah. I would be I down think, for that. I think Freddie Mercury for could, sure could uh, carry that weight. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. He'd yeah. have a fantastic mustache I think as so well. Like, yeah. he yeah, would. That would add. Uh, it was it's the like, 80s. What, yeah. had a mustache. Yeah, mm -hmm. but like I think it's like I think <laughs> that whole th idea because I've seen it go around a few times where it's like you replace actors and leave like with Muppets, but you leave like one person yeah. as like a person. <laughs> it's like the one I think of the most that I would love to see is like Silence of the Lambs, but you just leave Sir Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> see, I'd replace <laughs> I'd replace Anthony Hopkins with yeah. like really like a like Cookie Monster. Yeah, you'd, you'd have Clarice and everyone else would be puppets. Yeah. Like I think I think Hannibal and Cookie Monster yeah. are pretty. Eh, I guess Buffalo uh, Bill would be like a Buffalo Monster. Yeah. Or, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Reminds me that the 
that uh, series Angel, that old Joss Whedon series, where like Angel gets turned into a puppet in one episode. Does he? Yeah. <laughs> I never watched that show. No? I, I, That's wild. I, I had my run of Buffy and Angel back in the day. I haven't That's seen fair. him like in 20 years, but yeah. There, there's an episode where he turns into a puppet. <laughs> Chris is like, okay. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll, I got, I'll believe you. I, I don't know what to say. I'll take your word for it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, are we still going? Because I got more. Yeah, no, go. All right. This oh. one's almost, maybe not a two-parter, but maybe like an A or B option. Yep. Uh, The Shape of Water meets Jaws. <laughs> <gasps> or Finding Nemo meets Jaws. But I think I like The Shape of Water better. Or free, I, yeah, I like The Shape of Jaws. Water better for that one. Meets Jaws? Like, oh, there's trying to... Free Willy meets Jaws. Like, instead of jumping over the kid, the shark just... So... Plus, it's, it's, an, <laughs> it's an excuse for me to say grinding Nemo. <laughs> yeah, you did uh, not need to whisper yeah. that. What? Getting right on the mic. In a world where fish men are eaten by real fish. <laughs> They were just trying to find love. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, the Shape of Water. Yep. And Jaws shows up and yeah. ruins everybody's time. <laughs> be interesting. I got an anime one. Sure. Oh, If okay. that's okay. Yeah, go for it. That's a lot. Okay, so Pokemon. Yeah. Right? Meets. Uh, Orphans. Oh, my God. Attack on Titan. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is like... Nineteenth <laughs> century Ebola children, go! <laughs> Terrible. My, my parents died in a fire. Did you guys? I have rickets. <laughs> did you guys uh, even hear my suggestion? Or yes, yeah, 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 Attack on Titan. So they, so the Pokemon would be Titans. Yeah. Okay. Hundred percent, and make it yeah. a drama. Okay. That'd be cool. Don't make it like. I'd watch that. Yeah. Right. I feel like that would work really well. Like. I like I watched Attack on Titan like if, like my sister got me into it and I was like okay cool I didn't know what to expect and then actually watching it and seeing people getting eaten and stuff I was like yo this is not yeah. what I was expecting oh, at yeah. all it's but like I feel like yeah, yeah. I but like I feel like getting like, like the the season. Pokemon and the Titans like position yeah I feel like that'd be such an interesting thing to watch you know yeah I don't for know. sure Spe- speaking of which I've recently been watching a series. Where uh, it's an anime series, but the creator yeah. used all classic rock names for like their characters. Yes. So there's a, That's awesome. a a Tibetan monk called Tom Petty, just one word. <laughs> like the, the main character uh, goes to, goes to Tom Petty to get training, and th- I then love he that. fights ACDC. <laughs> nice. A- and Speedwagon is there. Like anyone who's seen it will I know what I'm that. talking about. But Mario Speedwagon. Yeah, like oh, the, man, the, there's a support them. character called Speedwagon. Yeah, but uh, I love this so much. Yeah, there's two characters. One's called Dire. One's called Straits. <laughs> uh, love it. I have no idea what you're talking about, I, but I, I'm in it. Yeah, I I just love the fact that somebody took their love for like classic rock and roll. It was like I'm going. To name all my characters. I'm surprised, after this. like, like that's been so sued wholesome. Or something I love that. It, but no, I lost it at the Tibetan monk called Tom Petty. <laughs> <laughs> Just like one word, Tom Petty. <laughs> I love that. Can he that's fly? So good. Oh can, yeah. Can he free fly? Yeah. Is he free flying? I think okay. so. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know what you're saying. But, uh, uh, I got. I got one more. Yep. Um, it's Jumanji. Yep. But instead of the board game, they accidentally opened the cube from Hellraiser. <laughs> oh, no. And it, it, it doesn't go well. I, I have, you know, I have yet to see a Hellraiser movie. I've seen, what? yeah, I've seen <gasps> summaries of all of them, but I haven't, like, actually watched them. What? No, wait, I saw the one in space. Yeah, that's not a good start. Is yeah, a no. Hellraiser in space? Yeah, yeah, yeah. D- don't, don't look, don't bother. It's like the third one, I, I think. No, I'm I good. Something yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, it was in the 90s when everything just ended up in space. Jason, yeah, Jason, Jason Jason was in space. Leprechaun. Leprechaun in space. It was it was a it was a dark time. Yeah. It was Why? I don't know. Yeah. It was like I, I, No, it, actually it, I don't want to get yeah. into that. Some questions just no. like, maybe I left best on yeah. the But like continuing on that Hellraiser note though, like if you haven't seen any of the movies, I would 100% suggest the first one because yeah. it it like oh, so good. obviously it's 
Yeah, it's so good. Plus, like, the one guy is, like, super creepy and just, ugh, oh, ooh, like, well, yeah. They're no. all creepy. You got Pinhead. You no, got, but, like, like the, the juicy no, dude but, like, who's all, pin, like... Pin, the Pinhead and the Cenobites, like, freaked me out. But it was the uncle that freaked me out more. Yeah, the juicy guy. He's all, like, he just, like, creepy. like <laughs> sinew yeah. oh, and no. muscle tissue and... You could see, yeah no like yeah. that that Pretty guy early. scared me more than yeah. the Cenobites and Pinhead did. Yeah, so like he was and like the the makeup on him too, like well done. Oh, yeah, the, but like oh, incredible. Yeah. seeing a slimy dude is just nothing. No, but if you're trying no. to play Jumanji and that yeah. pops up, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's oh my god, weekend for yeah, sure, for sure. I mean, well, I mean, Jumanji is bad enough. Yeah, like not the modern Jumanjis where like they're in a video game and you suddenly become the Rock, but yeah. like lots of Rock references. The, the, yeah, like the whole uh, Robin Williams was He's stuck in, in a jungle by himself for forty years. Yeah, that, that yeah, that's kind of bad. And a kid turns side, into a monkey. Side note yeah. though, yeah, like at, like side note though, like how traumatizing would that be? Well, it's like being sucked into a board game yeah. and stuff. Very. Like where somebody is hunting you. Like literally, he was being hunted for like yeah. twenty years. Yeah, yeah, that would go cabin fever That'd be basically. Nuts. You'd, yeah, you 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 go full uh, full Wilson. Yeah, I mean that was that was a yeah. Robin Williams movie, but it wasn't like a funny Robin Williams movie. Like this one is more because he basically had PTSD from being stuck in the jungle. Well, I can't say I blame him. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like it's it's interesting seeing Robin Williams in movies that aren't like full comedy or like just not comedy at all. Yeah. Like it's it's interesting. How about one where it's like Mrs. Doubtfire, but it's like I don't know, like a demon or something. Oh, Miss Mrs. Doubtfire meets a uh, psycho. Oh yeah. Oh the, there's, yes. There's some overlap there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's oh yeah. Playing his own mother or something like yeah. that. I'd watch that. Yeah. I yeah, I totally watch that. Hello, <laughs> Hello. Just step, step, step. Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Stoutfar as Johnny from uh or uh the, the Johnny. Here's Johnny. Uh the Shining? Shining. There you Shining. Go. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> the <monster laughs> the <door. laughs> There's the axe in this. Hello. <laughs> that I think that would be more terrifying than here's Johnny. <laughs> uh yeah. yeah. Oh, there oh, there's oh, what. You got something? I thought sorry, I thought about more. Like what if you'd made a Stephen King like novel but made it a comedy? Yeah. Like what if it was a comedy? So the clown is I don't know how you'd make it work. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, you can do comedy horror. I mean, that's what yeah. that's what Army of Darkness yeah. is, right? Oh, that's a great movie. Yeah, yeah. true. Fantastic. My favorite. Oh, my speaking favorite of that, Bruce. yes, it, the best Bruce. Isn't that coming movie. to HBO? Uh, I think. Might I think like there's a series coming out now? Like uh, they are working Army on of the a, Dead? Is it, uh, no, uh, they are working on a new Evil Dead. Uh, Bruce is a yeah. producer, but they're not going to have him as the character Ash because, like, he's it's like sixty or seventy now. Like, he's getting up there. Uh, and yeah, he, and he's doing the army or not army the dead uh, Ash versus the Evil Dead. Yeah, I think that's over now yeah. though. But Did they wrap that up? I think they wrapped that uh-huh. up. Yeah, I still need to watch fully through that because I love Such Evil Dead. Show. Yeah, Lucy Lawless. Yeah, so, yeah. Some Xena. Xena. Damn straight. Yep. All right, I got one more, but it's kind of depressing. <laughs> okay. But that's oh god. Movie. Okay. Uh, it's the Goonies, but where like. Sloth gets the help he needs. Yeah. <laughs> right? It's just like, oh. This, everyone everyone uh, loves Sloth. Yeah. And Chunk. The baby Ruth. They were like... It's like 20 years yeah, later and like all the yeah. kids who grew up with Sloth are supporting him. And, yeah. It's like, you know. Trying to incorporate him into yeah. normal society because he was like, kidnapped by like a pirate lady. Yeah. Or I guess he wasn't really a pirate, but there was a pirate ship involved. Yeah. <laughs> That's... But, I wouldn't say that's uh, depressing. I feel like that's such a wholesome yeah. idea. Is it? Yeah. Okay. You're, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. That's I'll, more I'll like wholesome, that I'd say. Okay. Yeah. It's good. Angle. Like, I feel like that has like a really good like family drama, like feel good vibe to it. Because sloth could Sparta kick your butt through the wall. Oh yeah. Yeah. And he, yeah. he just needs to. Yeah, he's, he's, got, he's got a gentle giant thing Cause, going. The people who yeah. kidnapped him. I, I'm assuming he was kidnapped. I guess they don't really never explain it. Yeah, I don't think they do. But uh, they're jerks. Yeah. 
school. I always, school I always thought people. that like that was like his family, but because of the way that he was born, like the fact that he was deformed and stuff, they always treated him differently and like made him into like that like angry kind of guy at first. Yeah, and then the kids were nice. That's to what him, I was so. under the. Oh, actually, maybe they yeah. were. Maybe they were brothers. Yeah, yeah that's sure. what I. Was, that's what I thought. I haven't, I haven't watched Goonies. Ha- have videos, you ever so. seen the? Uh, there's a music video because uh, Cindy Lauper did like a yeah, song yeah, for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And the music video for that, it's completely 80s because they bring in WWF wrestlers, not WWE. No, no. WWF, like the Iron Sheik nice. is, is there, like Roddy, Roddy Piper is, nice. is in the Goonies music video for some reason. That they're playing like bad guys. And Cindy Lauper is there. I love like, that. like most 80 things. 80 things in the world. That sounds like a ton of fun. I yeah, would, it is. I would have loved yeah, to have been on that Yeah, it sounds like a shoot. blast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. Yeah. That's, I, I didn't really think that one went through very far because it kind of ended up on the cutting room floor. But yeah. uh, The dude needs paper. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, that's it. Yeah. All right, there we go. Yeah. No more podcasts. No, we're, we're done. <laughs> 20th episode, we're done. <laughs> yeah. Actually, here's something that Oh, we're still going. Okay. No, it's, it's something that I'd like to see. Uh, it's unrelated to anything. But you know, like, there's those movies where, like, a kid goes through, like, a magical experience or whatever. Their toys come to life or they're transported to a different dimension. Yeah. I want to see that kid 20 years later and dealing with that. Yes. Like the post-traumatic stress. He's, like, describe, yeah. he's like trying to describe he's, what he's, he went through to yeah, a therapist. Yeah, he's talking to his therapist. It's like, yeah, like, 20 years ago, I was literally t- transported to this magical world and I saved it. And it's like, okay, how, yeah, did I make, how did that make you feel? Yeah, dealing with that. It's like, I was in space. That, that, was, that was kind of, like, hook, though. Yeah, that'd mess you up. I would, yeah. 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 I would say, like, one that would be interesting to see would be, like, Narnia. Like, what happened to those kids? Because it's like they led an entire life yeah. in that, like, world. And then coming back to, like, the real world and being transported back into, like, your... Mentally, those kids are, like, child? 80 years old because, like, they age in Narnia. Yeah, right? And then... That's kind of messed up. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, how would, like, how would that affect somebody? Or like, how could you... Elliot, you know what I mean? Tea. Like, like... He met an a- he lit- met a literal alien like thirty years forty years ago. Yeah, how's he doing now? Like, yeah, like, like, is he okay? Is, is he doing <laughs> like a book are tour they still now? In contact? Yeah, did he ever come back? Yeah, just like, hey, like does like et e. et phones home every yeah. once in a while? They actually <laughs> they actually yeah, did do. Uh, there has there was a Christmas commercial. I forget who. I think it was like a phone company or something like that. Oh, where yeah, et yeah, comes back. He's like, hey, yeah, pay your phone bill. I love pay that. your phone bill. See, like. Did you guys ever watch the Page Master? Uh, that's the mm, I know what you're talking Macaulay about. Macaulay Culkin? No. no. Yeah, yeah, it's Macaulay Culkin. Yeah, yeah. Cal- oh, oh, oh. Cac, oh, cac, cac. I meant no. Anyways, that. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, but, all, but um, I haven't watched it myself. I was, th- I always thought that one would would be an interesting one where it's like you talk to him years down the road because he was he was transported to like a library and all the library books came alive. Right? Like, could you imagine trying to, like, explain that to your therapist? Like, no, like, I had a, f- a horror book that wasn't scary. He was scared of himself. And then also, like, an adventure book who was, y- like, I don't know how you could explain that to a therapist. What happened or, like, to the even, kid like, from Predator that. 2 that offered the Predator some candy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did they ever get Veruca Salt out of that pipe? <laughs> I'm pretty sure, like, she's dead. She's like gotta be. 90% yeah. sure. They probably just left her in there. Yeah. She's a little raw away. Yeah. And just, you know, flushed out. Well, I guess away. actually that's not true because at the end of the movie, it's like they showed all of like the kids leaving the factory. And also, could you imagine like being the like the crowd waiting outside Willy Wonka's factory and seeing all these kids like messed up afterwards and kind yeah, of thinking, thank God I didn't win. <laughs> that yeah. was the worst candy factory I've ever yeah. been in. Zero out right? of ten. Don't go in there. Yeah. The Yelp reviews yeah, are like ridiculous. The, <laughs> like the... <laughs> Like the blueberry girl who like ended up like getting juiced, but she was blue for the rest of her life, and like then stupid that, re- like salt? flexible, uh, and was, then like I can't remember. Yeah, I'm having a hard time remembering my Willy Wonka you know? characters. It was like like m- the TV kid gets like shrunk. He gets shrunk, and then he gets stretched out in the laffy taffy thing, yeah. and then like he ends up being stupid tall, but like paper thin. I'm pretty sure it was Veruca Salt turned into a blueberry. Yeah, I could be wrong. Yeah, yeah. I could be wrong, but yeah. No, no, no. Veruca Salt was the one that went down the garbage chute with the squirrels because it's like she oh, yeah, was yeah, too yeah, selfish yeah. and yeah, she wanted right. a pet yeah, squirrel. Yeah. yeah, yeah, totally. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. I know my lore. <laughs> <laughs> All 
I, but yeah. um but yeah and then like the blueberry girl i can't remember what like she tried the gob or the gum that was like a f- like that was a full meal yeah, so she, she, ate, she like was like oh my giant. god i could feel the soup running down my throat and like that kind of thing oh, and yeah. then when she got to dessert that's when she swelled up into that giant blueberry all right yeah <laughs> Just, oop, yeah ba, loop, ba, Right, but like, could you imagine though being the crowd outside there? It'd be like, I'm kind of happy I didn't get the golden ticket now. Like, <laughs> yeah, like shouldn't they have been punishing the parents, not the kids? Really? Yeah, because parents are out there. I think. Responsible. Yeah. Also, Grandpa that, like, Joe, what's up with that? Like staying in bed for twenty years and then yeah, being dude. able to get up suddenly. Like, if you're able to work, feed your like, get a job. Feed the man. family, yeah. damn it. I, th- I think there's actually like a subreddit that's like, I hate Uncle Joe or something oh, like that. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh, I'm yep. like, oh, gonna have to check. Reddit. Yeah. <laughs> Good old Reddit. Oh, God bless you. Yeah. Yeah. Or Uncle Joe hate. Yeah. I think it's called. Yeah, because he didn't do it. No, yeah, he's just he's sitting in bed. He, if he was able to like get up and move, like help the family out. It's like, oh, I can take you to the chocolate factory, but yeah, getting a job. Eh, no. I was, I'm just gonna. Well, didn't they kind of? Out. Didn't they kind of allude to the fact that it was the whole? like excitement and magic of him going into like the chocolate factory with Charlie that like got him up. Cause it's like, it almost sounded like he was just like giving up on life. Mm-hmm. And then like when he was given that opportunity, that's where he was like, okay, I could do stuff now. No, you know? when you're a grandparent, you have responsibilities. Yeah. That, that's no excuse. No, yeah, I'm just saying, <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, ultimately, yeah, I'd like to see like some of these older stories where like the kids encounter something as a kid. What are they doing now? What hap- What happened to the kids from Toy Soldiers? Their toys came alive. Yeah, like they got yeah scars from nail guns. Yeah, like That's yeah, like what happened to Andy in college? Could you imagine? Like he's trying to like go on a date with a girl and be like, "Yeah, all my toys came to life." Yeah. Oh God, I'm trying so hard. I have fun with that one. So hard to keep this PG. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my, <laughs> hey, babe, here's my two favorite toys, Woody and Buzz. Yeah, like, uh, <laughs> if we were doing a bit shit exclusive, man, this would be a different episode all, all together. It would. Uh, it all would. But, um, yeah, like, I feel like I'm with you, Mike. I feel like finding out what happened, like, afterwards. Like, Ash from Pokemon, like, what did, was he young forever? Did he just, like, wander the world, like? trying to be the best like what happened when he did get the best did he settle down did he have kids like what what it's happened forever a boy how long does a pikachu live yeah i don't know it can't be that long forever nah I'm forever not, I'm getting, like, like did he have to did he have to re- tops. do you think he had to replace him probably yeah Clone that'd be messed it's up it's actually a ditto <gasps> conspiracy I'm crisscross a, <laughs> yeah i'm gonna throw i'm gonna throw a ditto <laughs> on you <laughs> right at this. <laughs> uh, Should we wrap this up? I like, think we. I think we. Yeah, we are like, way over an hour. Yeah, I, I think uh, that pretty much wraps things up. Uh, <laughs> anyone else have anything to say before I sign off? Uh, let me just check. Just Chris to be needs sure. a notebook. I need a notebook. Please. Yeah, somebody send in a notebook. <laughs> um, let's see. We did this. Yeah, did that. Did that. Um, I got nothing. Yeah. Like, I came up with stuff I didn't even expect to talk about this episode. Like, I'm... <laughs> I don't know. I'll save that for another episode. We're uh, already yeah, right yeah, along. Yeah, sounds good. All right, for Media Minute, <laughs> I'm Michael Ford. I'm tired. And I'm Rachel Edge. We'll see you next time.